Sorry, but they how we work the hell we try. How I how about you know the shy, but how I pack a dodge. Still want to order a pot to read most of we will. Instead of type teachings that Asana puts in the truth, call the full form of the earth. To the third power, how about you now try to hope for what? Let's try one for the few tips of that out there. I tune in to the spirit. <coughs> And who the world is really called God in the name of Yahweh. And who the world is really called Jesus Christ in the name of Shai. Where he was like that consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and those in line descendant go back to the Montreal tribe of Israel, due to the gathering among the nation of the four corners of the earth. This is my heart call from the great Mosos, Los Angeles camp, back from the election. I will now like God, the Lord be edifying to the fear and power of Yahweh, Shai, Shai. By Shah and Kakadash, the Holy Spirit. You know, they call it Yahweh, call it Yahweh Shah, it's something to fear on me to do this lesson. So, this is our uh, uh, article that was on National News. <coughs> and um, we was having a lot of earthquake out here in California, all right? Especially down, mainly down here in the Southern California area, all right? It seems like it's happening every week now, but. According to the article, the ones out there every week, the ones that are more notable, like the one that you can uh, actually feel, you know, like 3.8 if you're close to that epicenter or anything that's higher than 4.0, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, those you can feel, uh, even if you're like uh, a couple counties over, all right? <coughs> But it seems to happen more frequently than never happened before. It happens an earthquake every single week that you can actually feel. All right, so, hey, we're in the end times. Properties are peaking. <coughs> so this is uh, California and Nevada rocked by 945 earthquake in seven days. Damn, that's a lot. It's a lot of earthquake. A lot of earthquakes. Yeah, part of California and Nevada has been rocked by nearly a thousand earthquakes recently in California alone. At least 13 earthquakes were recorded in just 25 minutes at one point. All right, and I did a video on that the other day. Five days ago, four point magnitude and dozen of earthquakes in 25 minutes, family, in Southern California. Alright. So, hey, these things are happening. Alright, you want to do that? Hey, you know, they talk about the big one, alright, because we have the San Andrea fault line out here in California. And you have multiple fault lines that um, crisscross. He made the fault line at will. All right. Uh. Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts uh, family. Long video. Let's go ahead and check it out. But, uh, Yeah, that's what we're doing with articles, you know, the scriptures, prophecies, so let's take an edge of chapter 9. Alright, he has to be there, verse 1. He has to be there if they have measured all the time diligently in itself. And how we're doing that is to be in the prophecies, alright? Not notably, Matthew 24, it's always the go to, Luke 21, Mark 13. Uh, take a 15 and 15. 
Because that's how we measure the time, because we started to see the time pass, and we're uh, matching it up with the scriptures. And that's how we know where we at. All right, and or the time that we at is our glory house track coming back very very soon. And all these things that's happening that was prophesied or happened now that was written two thousand years ago. And when thou see a part of the time past, which I have told you before, in the scriptures, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. <laughs> Uh, we're in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, all right? And you visit the place via the earthquakes, okay? I'll tell you that in my data, chapter uh, 29. Okay, so, Thou shalt be bigger than the Lord, how about shall try to host with thunders and with earthquakes? Do that. With earthquakes. And great noise with storm and tempest and a flame of the power of fire. Alright, the Lord. Those are the uh, different type form of a visitation of the Lord visiting the place earth. Alright. Alright. Well, ice. Well, ice. Alright, quaking, shaking, alright, commotion. That's pretty much it. Now, go back to Daniel chapter 9, verse 2. Thou, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest we're beginning to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen an earthquake and upward of the people in the world, the that's a major part of the sign uh, as being displayed and part of the prophecy that's being fulfilled that these earthquakes were going to be taking place. Then shalt thou will understand that the Most High spake of those things for the day that was before thee, even for the beginning. All right? And that's how these things are uh, being played out. All right? Even from the, all the way from back to the Genesis, up into the book of Revelation, all right? And even in the New Testament, all right? All these were over 2,000 years ago, all right? Um, yeah. For like as all that is made in the world, which has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest to all the end of the time period, all right, for a new time period to start, we're going to be an everlasting kingdom, all right. It's going to be the like, so-called everlasting and Not going to be the end of the physical earth, all right, the physical world, all right, the end of this age, time period, it's the end of wickedness, the end of Esau, the end of rulership, all right. Even though the time, times, all through of the highest have slain beginning of wonder and powerful works and ending, and effect and sign. All right, and that's how these things are being displayed. All right, it's the manifestation of the return of the Lord. It's the last three, four, and all. Uh, for seven, for nature shall rise into the house of All right, for after the the stipend firing. All right, let's read it, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? All right? To further prove that, let's not talk about the physical earth. All right? And they look at the word world and the Greek. It's aeon, age, time period. All right, period of time, age, okay? If they were talking about the physical earth, it will be, uh, uh, it'll be, I know you got Aeon, Cosmos, group of people. It will be Orchimedes, all right, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Orchimedes, 
Alright, for that Greek word, for the physical earth. Alright, so there was a time, what were the signs of these? To see the signs, uh, for the, like, what are the signs to be for your uh, return? Alright, and these are the list that he gave them. Alright, verse 7 for nature shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilences and earthquakes. And I've heard places, sorry, different parts, diverse, the different parts, all right. And that's what's going on, all right. That's why we read Second Age chapter nine, all right. And I'll see part of the science path, all right. The house science gave a little sign that's going to happen, all right. An earthquake is one of them, okay. That's why in Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse three, therefore, when there shall be things earthquake and upward of the people in the world, both those things are happening simultaneously, right, at the same time. Uh, so that's why article like this and report like this further confirm, all right, the sign that are being displayed, the signify. Uh, basically, the manifesting of the property being built. All right, because that's a lot. Almost a thousand seven days. And it's only gonna get. Uh, it only get increasingly more. All right. Because literally, we have an earthquake every day. All right. I might not say feel them all, but the one that you do feel, it starts to feel like it's every week. All right. So, well, we're going to start to increase, all right? So the spirit probably help us, I'll show you what that, but they shall want.